tutorial two for our topic one in cell culture technique. So the first tutorial looked at how to use a hemocytometer. Now we're going to look at the calculations involved in calculating your cell number um, and your cell density and how you plate your cells up for an experiment of cell counts done using he hemocytometer in which we have cell we've cells stained with tripan blue that's letting us count the live cells and also the dead cells so we've counted each of the four corners and transcribed the numbers here for live and dead so the first thing to do is to get the sum of all of the cells counted so we can do that using excel and this formula and that gives us 212 we can do the same thing for the dead and the total columns just by dragging it along. And then the next thing to do is to get the average number of cells that we counted per corner. So to do this, we're going to divide the sum by four because we counted the four times. And again, do the same for the dead and the total. So that gives us an average of 53 um, in the live cells and an average of six in the dead cells. So when we want to calculate our cells per mil, we have to multiply by our dilution factor, and then we also have to multiply by 10 to the power of four, and that'll give us cells per mil using this hemocytometer. So we can take the number here of the live cells, 53, and multiply it by two, because that is our dilution factor with the tripan blue. So we get 106 multiplied by 10 to the power of four cells per mil, and that's our number of viable cells within this cell suspension. We can do the same for our dead cells. So this uh, cell up here, multiply by two, and that's giving us 12 by 10 to the power of four cells per mil. And the same again for our total. Multiply by two. So we want to get our percentage viability. So that's gonna be the, the ratio of viable cells um, over our total cell number, multiplied by 100. So we can take this cell, divided by total cells, multiply by 100, and that gives us 90% viability. So that's a very good viability for our cell suspension. So the next step is to calculate how much of this cell suspension we're gonna need for our experiment. So we want to seed a 96 well plate with 100 microliters over 2000 cells per mil cell concentration. So we need to calculate the volume of cells um, in a final volume of 10 mils that we need to set up the plate. And we also want to check how many cells in total is in our solution. We need to divide the no cell number desired, so that's 0 0.2 by 10 to the power of four, by our cell number, um, 106 by 10 to the power of four, and then multiply that by the volume required, so we require 10 mils. So this, number here 0 0.2 divided by 106 here then multiplied by 10 mils which is our volume required so we can see that it's 0 0.019 mils and if we convert that to microliters that's 19 microliters um, and so we need to know how much media we need to add on top of that so that's going to be just your 10,000 microliters or your 10 mils minus this number. So we need 9,981 microliters of media. Then once we have this mixed up, we can then add 100 microliters of that new suspension to each well. We now want to know what's our total number of cells. So say we have 7.5 mils of cell suspension left in our tube. And we might want to know how much is left if we want to say freeze down the rest of the cells or we want to plate them into different flasks. So we multiply our cells per mil by the volume that we have. So this number, 106, multiplied by 7.5. And that equals 795 by 10 to the power of 4. That's 7.95 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6, or that's 795, almost 8 million cells in total that we have.